Mukul Sangma is joining us. We're talking to him about the ground situation. Meghalaya, his daughter is winning this election. The Congress candidate is winning this election. Mukul Sangma, how do you see this election result? And is the Congress party now going to stake claim to form the government? I see it as the victory of the people. And I congratulate the people. And from the day one after the general election, we have maintained that the Congress party, being the largest single party, should be uh, invited to form the government. And that didn't happen for uh, the best reasons known to the Honorable Governor and the uh, power in Delhi. But uh, as of now, we will be looking forward to paving the way for formation of a new government. Hmm. You know, recently you had uh, mocked the chief minister saying he's yet to get himself elected as a member of the House. What would your advice to him be at this stage? Well, the seat was available after I vacated Ampati. He should have uh, dared to contest from this vacated seat. But he did not dare. And therefore, we have to look at within three months, how can he take the election commission for granted that once any other seat is vacated, the election commission will complete the whole process of election within three months because the normal time is that, okay, within six months, a vacated seat has to be refilled. So therefore, it's... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Do you think the party will have any problem? Minister, you, have a government, you have a government where a chief minister is on ad hoc appointment for six months. Okay. And Mukul Sangma, talking to you about the national picture, what do you think these bipolar results show? We've also seen opposition unity in places like Karnataka and also Kerana. And the Kerana result is very significant. Trends going in favour of the joint opposition candidate who's, uh, who's winning at this stage by 40,000 votes. See, the interest of the nation and interest of the people should supersede everything else. And that's the reason why we should all find reasons to come together and fight against all forces which would be paving the way for disastrous future unless we fight against them. And that's why uh, it's... Uh, time for all of us to understand the importance of putting the interests of the nation and the people before everything else. Thank you. Hmm. The BJP, coming back to Meghalaya, the BJP had come to power with just two seats. Today, after winning this Ampati by poll, what would you like to say to them? Well, BJP has always tried to figure out on other parties, other forces, using all their resources, using all unfair means, and that is what is visible before the nation, and that's why we have to put an end to this. They have reshaped the political environment in the whole country. They have infused, uh, you know, the whole exercise of corrupt practices while forming government, while fighting election. That should end. When it comes to the 2019 election, it will be a big personality contest as well. Do you think the Congress party could succeed in that? And do you think the Congress party will be able to lead that third front? We believe there will be in many contenders ahead of 2019. We believe in the leadership and the collective endeavor. And then uh, fighting on the basis of the interest that I have said, that the interest of the nation and interest of the people as the main agenda, you know, to protect the interests of the nation and protect the interests of the people. The country needs to come together. The nation needs to come together and ensure that our democracy survives and sustains. Okay, Mukul Sangma, thank you very much for joining us uh, with your views. That was a very happy Mukul Sangma talking. His daughter has won the Ampati seat in Meghalaya and this would change the number game in the state.